Hello. Did you know that currently around the world it is completely legal to move around so nobody can see you? Did you know that at any point, I can't see myself, but did you know that at any point I am legally allowed to put a mask on, cover my eyes, cover my head, even cover my fan hands. You know, all these people do. I've lost my son's gloves in the time I've come up here. I can't believe it. Don't tell me I've lost his gloves. Oh, shit. I've lost my son's gloves. So anyway, who's ready for complied conformity? It means we're heading into the main frame of winter. And that means that any person who is vulnerable to any condition, I really can't breathe in this. I don't know how you people do it. Like seriously, like fuck this shit. Like seriously guys, like complied conformity because you're scared. Complied conformity because you don't know your human rights. Complied conformity because you don't know where you stand. Complied conformity because you're worried about losing your jobs. Complied conformity because you're worried how you're going to pay your bills. Some people put the masks on because they're told to. Some people stay gagged because they're told to. Some people around the world and particularly here in the UK go through what is called the family courts, even the criminal courts, the civil courts, and they get held in contempt of court or they have false allegations projected to them. This morning, I had a false allegation, two false allegations, well actually, one correct allegation because my dog who is here with me, yes, as you know, when we very, very first got the dog on the 20th of December, that she is underweight, right? Now, Dean and the boys had been out with the dog. We haven't had the allegation put through the door. They have chosen to not put anything through a door and have left and not putting anything through the door. The moment that any person who is employed by the state commits misfeasance in public office. This morning, I realized something about the legal firm that was taking Aaron and Faith away from me in the courts, that they said on my five day trial day and when I was on question, if I have such a debilitating condition, how could I jump out of an airplane? I responded that I was strapped to somebody and it was jump, they jumped and it was fun and you should try it. Now, this morning, I actually was looking for a photograph of mine, and it's the one where I went up Snowdon. What annoys me with these people that are trolling me? Now, as you've noticed today, I have clearly antagonised the person who is behind the website kelly-cotton.com, which is not ran by me. As they say, it's ran by team. Now, I've obviously antagonised that person today, and I've had the RSPCA sent to my door. One, making allegations that my children hit the dog, and two, saying that my dog is underweight. What annoys me and what pisses me off is you're going against my character of who I am, what I'm about, what I stand for, what it is that I'm here to do. My body doesn't allow for me to be dictated by somebody else on what time I arrive somewhere, what time I leave, when I can eat, when I can go to the toilet, when I sit down, when I stand up, when I can move around. And it doesn't work like that for somebody like me. Now, Dean doesn't believe any of the diagnosis are right other than me being um, ADHD. I don't believe in ADHD. It was a label made for people. Like, look, watch my leg now.
that's stress. That's stress. I've cried since they've been, I, and I said to Dean, I'm not letting it happen. The fact that Dean was sat in the house when this happened and the way he came out, I can eliminate Dean because when the police used to turn up, it, the irony was it wasn't long after he would leave. So of course that kept him as a suspect. So with the police matter, people become a suspect, don't they? Now, I don't want these people to cause me to react, right? I'm not willing to react. So this is me reacting in a minute, responding. Now the problem is, is this whole world isn't my problem, is it? It's not that person down there doing it. It's not that person over there doing it. It's not the person crossing over doing it. It's not Dean doing it. It's clearly not my mother doing it. It's clearly, potentially, higher chance Lisa Bartle. Now, could it be Lisa Bartle? Yes. If I was a police officer right now looking into who had created the website that is opposing me, causing all of these issues. In fact, they're doing me a favour, to be honest, because I said to Amber the last night, I said, can you take all the EDS stuff off and put it on my website? Because it will save me so much time doing it because they've done a really good write-up and also proven the point that there is no DNA thing that can test for this condition in this way. However, there is. And I can prove this because me, James and Liam had hours done when Liam was born with a cleft and we came under DNA differently because they're cleft. Please know the only time I've ever had medical intervention into my condition is when I've been pregnant to make him assess me as a high risk pregnancy. You're going to have to excuse me because my hips are out, my back's out, my shoulders are out. What does out mean? It means that they're subloxed. If you see my knuckles, that is ligaments. My fingers are popping in and out. My thumb is struggling. It hurts across there. With Erlos Danlos syndrome, which is what I have, which was two men, Mr. Erlos, Mr. Danlos, did a lot of research and came up with this connective tissue that was causing for people who are very hypermobile to take contortionists, take uh, people that do acrobatics, take uh, ballet dancers, gymnastics, all people that can put their bodies into positions that other people can't necessarily do such as the fact that as much as going to hurt me to do it right now, if I was to put my hand up for a teacher right now and to do this, my hand goes immediately straight up. It's why I always get chose first. It's why there isn't an issue. If everyone has to put their hand up, my hand is clearly up. And that's me saying, yes, miss, please can I go to the toilet? Right now, with somebody else, a lot of people don't like to put their hand up. They don't like to draw attention to themselves. I don't like attention. We, even when I got married, I was grabbing hold of my uncle's hand. Didn't like the fact that people were walking down the road, what Watching me as we were in the thing didn't like like that never liked that doesn't matter whether it's majorettes doesn't matter whether it's dance doesn't matter if it's martial arts doesn't matter what it is I have always had an issue with the fact that in this world that we live in boys do martial arts girl do dance not until obviously a male ballet dancer come along and said actually I can dance and now all of a sudden you've got to be gay I don't even want to get onto the laziness about male and female and why we're ending up with this gender bollocks stuff so anyway i look like a man today and to the person i'm coming to bridge end by the way and i am going to bridge end i'm going to record the police arresting this woman um i do know that potentially her husband um is a computer expert i do know that her husband was arrested with them all in child pornography as much and i will stay because her argument is that they were spammed online i'm not there i don't know is this what it is all about? Now, the problem is, is there's people in the world, right? They like to live off the grid. And like to be invisible. Now, you could mark me, I've got a red thing right on the bullet of my head. And there's people that like to move around in the dark. Did you know it's completely legal for me to sit here like this? How fucked up is that? You know, see, I'm always a... Uh, So anyway, I'm quite responsive and quite antagonistic and quite reactive right now. I really can't breathe in them. Like, seriously, people, carbon dioxide and oxygen. Like, what fucking plums and idiots want to hide in the fucking dance? Kelly is my real name. There are people who can tell you that my name is Kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, 
yes, which is what it is originally. That's why it was tattooed on my dad's arm. It was changed at the age of 13 by my mum who changed me. I was originally Kelly Hill. Then I was Kelly Avis when my mum and dad finally got married because I took my mum's name, as you do when you're not married and you're in a hospital ward bed. Then I became Kelly Avis Forrester at the age of 13, spelt with an IE. Then I became Kelly Wilkinson when I got married, Kelly Cotton when I got married. And I have continued under the name Kelly Cotton because of my two elder boys who have their name Cotton, even though Liam was originally Wilkinson and took on Cotton when I married because his father didn't stay in contact. So, anyway, Aaron and Faith, I don't know what their surnames are. I don't know what names they go under. I do know they go under the name Aaron and Faith. Aaron is going to be 13 on the 3rd of February, which makes him Gillick competent. Now, Lisa came into my life and taught me about Gillick competent, but that's not very good when your child is taken at the age of three and two. Had Aaron and Faith been taken from Milo Hospital in Wrexham today, like today, as I am now, the person I am now, I would rock the fucking thunders of that hospital before any police officers, two little police officers and two social workers walked out of a fucking hospital with my two babies. Be it that that be Elijah and Shiloh, be, uh, Eleanor Down, be it that that be Aaron and Faith, Liam and Daniel. The difference is I've taken too much fucking crap. Too much. And for nothing. I'm not a crackhead, I'm not a smackhead, I'm not a dealer, I don't do drugs, I don't really drink occasionally. I think on Christmas I might try, you know, a bit of social while cooking, but actually it gets stays in the fridge. And, you know, so I'm not even a drinker. Even if I go out, I tend to be a driver. So, you know, I've not even really been a drinker when it's come to like that. I've crossed lines in my life and I've done things to provide for my children. And I've always been open and honest. There's no skeletons in my life. There's no skeletons. And they talk about my friends. Do you know what? There's lots of people that call me that I'm their friend, but I don't actually really have any. This is my best friend. Shauna Lee, there she go. There's my best friend. And even her lead, which came with her, carries the red X. And this is the lead that came with her, by the way. This is my best friend. In it. So, I'm not having this person who clearly I've pissed off today because don't you know I've posted potentially the facts because I do know. So to Lisa Bartle, if it is here, if if it is yours, yeah, and you think I'm joking, yeah, then me and the police and my live camera will be in Bridge End at the number thirty-three on the door, yeah. So. I do have your address. I've always had your address, hence why I drove all the way to Wales to give you back the money in fourfolds that you had given me, that you'd put into actually, and if people remember rightly, I think it was uh, Future Fridays, and I'd gone to go and collect a camper van because obviously I'm not traveling around as a woman on her own, yeah? I'm not a mum out there on the street saying, how do I stop the adoption of my kids? I'm a mum in a house with two other little children. I've got two older boys, I've got a grandson. I've still got my own court case and matters of what I have to learn at each stage and every level of each individual and every person that I ever meet that can teach me a piece of the puzzle that maybe I don't know. I'm not a solicitor, I'm not a barrister, I'm not even a psychologist. I have a psychology degree. Yes, it is a degree, no, it's not a thing. Yes, I did a two year thing, which was in order for me to be able to get into university because as you know, I was medically suspended from school by social services in the paperwork, as the headmaster said, because social services couldn't be bothered to do a, um, what was it called? Um, a team meeting. And as I've already read out, you fucking muppets that want to abuse somebody who's had their education taken away from them by a bunch of muppets at school, who had their education nearly pulled from them at university because of respiratory problems, who still graduated, who's already had a psychologist up her ass get pissed off because I told her that a DSM-5 wasn't acquitted for anything with somebody that you've got to make reasonable adjustments for, for a physical condition that you're all denying, and you're asking me questions about whether I get headaches, whether I've got pain in my body, and you can't even write on your system by the name of Jesus Christ in himself, yeah? That you can't even write on your paperwork 
that I'm a mother with a complex condition. You all have an issue with the complexities of my family dynamics and units. But when I read this thing back to do with me jumping out the parachute, and I didn't put it out and raise money in the end. I paid for it all myself and donated myself, right? So I don't like doing sponsorship. I fucking hate putting sponsorship stuff out. And they have a go at me about money, which makes me think it's more and more and more Lisa. Because Lisa is the only person who's ever asked me to pay money back to her, and I actually did. I turned up in folds to pay it back in cash. She wanted to shit herself, saying her husband didn't know about the money. So now Lisa personally hasn't personally trolled me in her name or contacted me in quite a while. Now, as it is that I posted this up, and I've had the RSPCA at my door today, says that somebody out there got a little bit antagonistic. Now, they've posted on their website that, hey, me, here, calm, and not going to be doing anything and leaving everything alone, because that seems to be what people want me to do. People don't see... Let me get up my coccyx fucking killing me. You're going to have to bear with me for a second, all right? Um, I'll be over on TikTok snapping it out in a minute. Do you want to see what I'm like when I'm really bad? <laughs> so anyway, guys, Kelly Cotton will be performing later on on their roller skates. Let you down. Nah, la, 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 la. It's not a I've still got to order a new battery charger because when Dean was here last time, it was near the toaster and um, it uh, got burnt basically. So I haven't got a charger on my phone. That's the only reason that I'm not TikToking. That's the only reason that I'm not live in because I don't have the charger. So I'm already on 20%. Now, the good thing about TikTok is I can be sat here with TikTok now, stopping starting it with music in the background. So it means I can... <laughs> do everything that I need to do. Now, what I usually do when I've stood up here, I have music. So I do silly things like that anyway. So anyway, today I'm more in mine, which is I have EDS, it has me, and sometimes we dance. For those that don't know, and have just come along, and I'm gonna fuck off in a second, because I really need to snap my back, snap my hips, snap my legs. And the way that I do it is I use the shadows that are coming down on the side here, and I just literally, can your body do this? Because I have EDS, you don't. So anyway, my name's Kelly. I was born here in Portsmouth, but I wasn't raised. I came here in January 2016 or 15, 15, 16, after leaving Downing Street, after going out in the papers in 2010, October 2010, to oppose against George Osborne's announcement to what they were going to be doing with hidden conditions, vulnerable people, people on disability living allowance, and univ uh, what was income support back then, and SDA, people who were basically on severe disability allowance. I went ahead into what was known as Disability Equality Roadmap for 2025. I said you will never get disability equality until you deal with the stereotypes and persecution. Let me put this to you. If all of a sudden every person in mental health units and disability institutions and units were put into homes all next door to you, all the way around the world, all foster care children, everybody that's considered the problem and horribleness of society. I was, had a child who was born with a cleft. Many parents don't raise these children. 
They're palmed off, kicked out onto the streets. They're called imperfect. They used to call them handicapped, spastics, and then they were called the disabled. There's people like me who have hidden conditions that you can't see. Everything from, oh, what could there be? Diabetes, cancer, all these things and traumas that people have to deal with. And that gives people no right whatsoever to discriminate somebody who parks in the disabled bay and isn't in a wheelchair. Because we live in a country that says that you have to be sat in a wheelchair in order to get help. That's why lots of people scan the system, move the chairs around. They use their disability aids and supports. And then some of us don't. Some of us fight it and battle it every day because we've got children with the same condition. We've got children that we've got to lead forward saying, yes, you can do these things. These are your limitations and this is your gift. But nobody can tell you where your limits are other than yourself. My son wants to be able to sit here and do a backflip, something that I can't do something I'd love to do and I can on a trampoline. I can off of a diving board and I can into water, but on from here onto my feet, I can't. Just because somebody has some dream or idea of something that they can do that is upon the capabilities of what they can do now, that doesn't make them grandeur. Just because somebody has to cut off from people that are naysayers saying they can't do something and get with the motors, so cut the anchors and get with the motors, that doesn't make them narcissistic. There are differences between empaths and narcissism. All and both have faced childhood trauma. One has allowed it to disable them. The other has used it to enable them. It means that they can understand the pain and trauma of somebody else because they've experienced some form of pain and trauma. Now, it's not for us to project that trauma all over the place and I won't allow whoever this person is doing it. There is somebody out there, a network of people, or maybe it's just somebody in the public who sees my dog up here and tries to ring the RSPCA because they can't see me from behind the post. And I get a call from the RSPCA going, oh, sorry, they didn't say there was somebody here. Now, your project projections and perceptions of other people and ringing out, why do you do it? Why does nobody come up and say, oh, what a lovely dog, it's a bit thin. How long have you had them? Oh, you've only had them since December 20th, have you? Oh, okay, I understand. Was she thin and underweight? Is there a problem? Now, how do you intervene on somebody and say, hey, love, you've got a problem in your life? And this is where the line is. Now, I'm a bit aggy. Now, I'm sure these people will use these videos against me. I'm sure these people will even post it up on their website of how I've told some RSPCA people to go away. Like I said, it's not personal to them, love, but these people need to stop wasting their time using the services. I think she needs to go and masturbate. Go and have a strum, love. Get a vibrator. Really become a sinner. <laughs> That's what these people are, fucking wankers. 2015. So anyway, as I've said, people have made my life a hell since coming out in 2010 to tell you to look in the mirror. Look in the mirror, take the mask off. And if you don't like what you see, change it. And like I said, people are trapped. And I stand by what I say today, tomorrow, every day, that we create our own lives. Nobody can stop me coming and sitting up here and chilling. I really don't give a shit. The people walking past can see me sitting up here. It doesn't matter. Yes, we live in a um, capitalistic society where we've got bills to pay. Yes, I want a house for my dog. Yes, I want gardens. Yes, I want our own faith home. I thought I'd hit heaven when I got to save the family, that I was going to be somewhere that we were going to get nurtured. I'd be able to sort out my two years um, stuff with my Equifax and Experian. And we would just get on and it would be great going off to France with the boys snowboarding. I, it was the first time I had all four of my children together. I live in the past, I live in the future, and I live in the present. This is my presence, this is my gift. 
but you know I've got to bring the past and the present all together in a genealogy but today proved to me that when them barristers and solicitors stood in that court and placed my children on care and placement orders they actually had the correct genealogy order anyway so they already knew that it was Liam when he was seven months old and I wasn't sectioned, I'd gone into hospital with what we now know to be a Chiari malformation from cranial instability with hypermobility, I lost and loss syndrome, diagnosed legally by the legal grounds and professors. And yes, I have to have DNA done. And yes, I have been experimental for many hospital people. So fuck the person with the website against me, you evil, vile people, but I forgive you and I let the hot coal pour the hot coals over you. And when the police come out to even question you whether you get arrested or not, um, there is a law that protects me so you can be arrested under that the judge will turn around and say is there a legal diagnosis on this woman well this is disability hate crime and we want disability equality by 2025 and we can't have people out there stopping all the sunflowers from coming out we need the sunflowers this summer you need to be able to walk down the street with down syndrome for middle mites people who do look different there's people in this world with no feet, no toes. There's people in this world with two heads together. There's people with three kidneys. There's people with two hearts. There's people with five fingers, people with four. You'd all call them aliens and space people, but they're just humans. And you call it a deformity, a genetic. You can't have a world full of perfect people without you actually being so perfect that you can actually sit with somebody without calling them alcoholic. Sunflowers, even if they opened the institutional doors, wouldn't even want to come out. Because they know the bullying and hate and... It's not nice. I remember what people did to people on the stuff that's buff, throwing the eggs. To the third window, they said, No, the moon, the moon. Yeah? It's not nice. That's what disabled to enabled was about. But the fact is, if you went into McDonald's with three or four teenagers, all with Down syndrome or Marfan syndrome or Williams syndrome, you'd walk out. You'd walk out. So anyway, if I've got any battery, I'll just go to TikTok in front of Queen Victoria for a minute.